Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. How is everyone doing today? We are uh, working on our Sakura GT20 over here with this lovely shit brown color. Oh, damn, unmonetized. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're doing okay. Uh, we need lots of spark plugs and lots of other th stuff because... Um, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can't really repair the spark plugs, I guess. You can clean them, but not much more than that. So, keep the comments uh, coming, by the way. Uh, keep the comments coming, by the way. That's what I wanted to say. Um, because I do like hearing about, you know, people's... Uh, wait, engine... what? Engine cover, right? Where, where is it? There, I6. 500? Are you bloody drying me? I mean, you're bleeding me dry. You're bloody bleeding me dry. That's it. Jeez, 500 for a bloody cover. Ugh. Anyway, um, yeah. Keep the comments coming. I really like hearing, you know, other people's uh, experience and wishes and all that with cars. That's quite interesting. Right, so we need an ignition distributor. Ignition distributor. Uh, I6. Look at that sub ring. All right, so that goes on there. What? What did I buy? Oh, I, I bought the cap. There it is. Well, I'll probably need the cap anyway, unless I I was able to repair it. Rotor. Oh, two of them in very nice condition. I6. There we go. No, I didn't need to buy a new one. We do need the wires, though. The I6. There we go. Lovely. All right. Nice. Okay, so then we have... What else do we have over here? Not much. I need the uh, exhaust manifold. Um, where's... Where's my option for the exhaust manifold? Why can't I put it in yet? Something's missing, I guess, but... What? Is there anything else I can do over here? Oh yeah, the belts. Ah, serpentine belt B. Serpentine belt B. I6. Yes, that's the right one. There it is. And there's the serpentine belt A. Uh, is there a V6? No, there's only an A, so... There we go. That's good enough. There is an I6! Darn it! There it is! <laughs> oh, well. We have the money, and we'll use it for something else. The only problem is, I always uh, seem to miss... Oh, yeah, we need to put the front exhaust section on first before putting on the manifold. Okay. Uh, the only problem is, whenever I say this, you know, whenever I go like, Oh, I already have one, so I'll use it later. And, of course, later I never remember that I have it, so... Yeah, I never seem to use it then. Let's put the oil pan on. There we go. This, well, the, the engine is looking pretty good at the moment. Uh, if I do say so myself, let's put the exhaust on there. Ooh, that's gonna be expensive. F La! Front exhaust section. Uh, the I6 one, please. Thank you. Lovely. Look at that. And we'll probably need two of these new ones. But while we're down here, we can, you know, just buy more stuff. Flywheel is gonna be... <sighs> what is it with my typing? Uh, flywheel is gonna be rather expensive. Yep, they are bleeding me dry. Bloody hell. Lots of clutch- where did I get so many bloody clutch plate or clutch plates? Clutch pressure plate. There we go. Lovely. Alright, this car is gonna drive like a dream. Or at least like a dream from 19... I don't know. 70s. Clutch release bearing. Clutch release bearing. There it is. All right. So, wait. A gearbox is from an i4 rear wheel drive. <laughs> That's rather interesting. Okay. It's probably just because of size and stuff. Okay, that looks pretty good. We can't put the drive shaft on there yet because, of course, there's other things missing. 
Alright, that cross member looks good. We'll need uh, four rubber bushings. Ri or ribber bushings. That also works. One, two, three, four. We'll also probably need some small ones for the uh, leaf springs in the back, but right now it's not an issue because we're actually dealing with this stuff. There it is. Heavily. Steering rack. Completely new. We need two inner tie rods. Probably outer tie rods as well. But I'm not going to be buying them before I actually see that front sway bar. You know what this uh, thing needs? When you go like this, and it gives you, like, you only have a 27% one, it should give you a, an immediate button to buy a new one right there, and then. I guess, you know, that would make maybe things a little bit too easy, but then again, just have it as an upgrade. You know, why not? Like a tablet upgrade. Out of Tyron. We need two of them. They're lucky, these tie rods. They always have a job. Yeah. Don't even need to look for one. They are looked for. Wow. So good. Alright. Oh, great. Sway bar. I hate these. It's like sway bar front end link B. I mean, make it more complicated. Bloody hell. Alright. Just two nuts. Oh, double wishbone, the shock absorber, double wishbone! I have a double wish, yeah, see how much um, money we've spent, we've spent about 5,000, come on, about 5 grand on this, so yeah, we need two ventilated brake discs, there we go, yeah, sh holding down shift makes it a lot uh, nicer, uh, okay, so we need Brake pads will also probably need discs as well, because obviously can't repair those. You can repair the calibers, but not the disc. Oh yeah, I've already bought the new ventilated discs. Wheel hub cap. Uh, those shouldn't be too expensive. There's one, and there's the retro rim, completely and lovely restored. Look at that. Even has a nice white, uh, you know, color around. Oh yeah, did I ever mention that I, uh, drove the, what was it, the 78 Corvette? I think I did, with a 5 point, what was it, 5.4, 5.6? I can't remember, anyway. It was a rather interesting car. Um, <laughs> handled, handled like an absolute pig. <laughs> but, to be fair, that was partly down to the fact that it needed quite a bit of stuff done to it. And it was missing some of the cross-member um, bracers uh, in the engine bay. So, you know, the car was... When you put your foot down, you know, it, there was acceleration, some of it. It wasn't, it wasn't too bad, actually. Well, let's not be too unfair to it. Um, but as soon as you let your foot off the throttle, especially if you were a little more sporty in doing so, so, you know, it was more digital than not, the car did this bizarre, just, you know, sway on the road. It, it was weird. Um, oh, it needs front springs. Yeah, it was, it was quite a little bit alarming when it did so, so yeah, I do not recommend. Uh, so I need the caps. Two of them, of course, because there's one on the other side as well. There's another rubber bushing down there. I'm just checking it like this. Okay, so now we can go to the other side. But yeah, that was a rather fun con uh, car to drive. Uh, of course, you know, pretty much almost unique over here. So uh, I was, I felt like a bloody paparazzi. Uh, not a paparazzi. I felt like everyone else was a paparazzi because everywhere I went, people stared at me and wanted to take pictures. It was rather interesting. Um, but the car itself, um, surprisingly comfortable. Uh, I mean, yeah. now why did I buy two? Bloody hell. Uh, I mean, surprisingly, uh, not bad to drive. Rear muffler V8. Um, so yeah, that was that was rather interesting. Uh, here is that the one, not the OHV? Yeah, I need the OHV. Of course I do. Ah, fuck. 
Ah, the other one was 300. Brilliant. I'm gonna run out of money this way. Wonderful. Alright, there we go. Oh, that's a lot of stuff that opened up. Rear shock absorber B. Rear shock. I am shocked at the rear. Actually, no, that's not a good way to say. Ugh. Uh, anyway. Yeah, that was a rather interesting car to drive. Um, unfortunately... One of its many problems was also that uh, after driving it for a little bit, you came out absolutely stinking of um, petrol. <laughs> so yeah, and also uh, the consumption was... Uh, how should I put it politely and mildly? Absolutely bloody atrocious! Oh my god, that thing drank like a mofo. You know? But of course... That's the problem. I was driving it in Europe today with our prices. And of course, the car was designed a while ago in America. And of course, you guys over there always had... Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. I don't want to do that. You guys over there always had very cheap um, petrol prices. Wait. I need the... Ah, I need the pads. So, you know, th this was compounded by the fact that the car was um, designed quite a long time ago. Which means uh, several things, one of which that it wasn't nearly as efficient as, as cars today. And also that, uh, you know, petrol, or as the Americans call it, gas, was even much cheaper back then. So it was really not an issue. But yeah, this, this thing drank like a mofo. It was insane. Uh, so yeah, my my wallet uh, was hurting when I when I got to a uh, petrol station. Of course, you know, once again, I felt like I was some kind of a movie star or something because everyone stared at me, or probably more importantly, stared at the car, which I don't really blame them for, and I actually preferred it that way. Um, oh wait a second, I need the wheel shop. Rim retro, retro. What? Oh, I have... I can't search for it. Oh, okay. Uh, so, Rim Retro. It was the... What? Which, which one was it? Of oh, the nine. Okay, for some reason I thought it was the six. There. But yeah, I mean, despite everything, the car is really quite nice to drive. Quite interesting. Just, it handled like a pig. <laughs> Probably because of all the problems it had, and you know, and also a really unfortunate thing. Um, I need the rear spring. A really, a real, <laughs> a really unfortunate thing was that the person that owned it and actually lent it to me, rear shock absorber cap. Uh, you know, he was, he was in the middle of uh, restoring it, and one of the problems was also that. Um, um, what was I trying to say there? Ah, oh, damn it. I forgot what I was trying to say there. Um, there was quite a bit of wrong with it, but... Oh, yeah! The, uh, serpentine belt. The belt on the car was in tatters. Uh, of course, it was still, you know, it was still on there, still doing its job, but not doing it very well, which, of course... No, 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 wait a second. Your leaf's... Your leaf... Oh. Leaf spring plate. Yeah. Um, yeah, which meant that every time I pushed the throttle a little bit more than just uh, one, two, three, four, a little bit more than just a smidge, uh, there was this horrible whining from under the bonnet. Uh, you've probably heard it with, you know, cars that were not serviced properly and people just drove until they broke, but you get this. It's horrible. And, of course, you know, it's also a sign that you should really be changing your belt because you do not want that bastard to fail while you're driving. Because if it does, you're in a lot of trouble and a load of hurt for your wallet, mostly, and your car. Uh, so, yeah, that was the unfortunate thing because I was, you know, I was like, oh, I'm driving down, I got the, the V8 motor, yeah, let's go, vroom, and then it just went, yee, yee, yee. <laughs> I do apologize for that rather annoying sound. But that's what it was. It was annoying. So anyway, yeah, rather rather fun car. I quite liked it. 
Oh, I forgot the uh, little clips, just like usual. I actually repaired the clips. Fancy that. There's the other clip. And there's the starter. Ooh, I need a new starter. That's not great. It's not gonna be cheap. Oh, actually gonna be cheaper than I thought. That's good. There we go. Look at this car. Look at how shiny and nice everything is. Right, what else did I forget here? Oh yeah, the exhaust manifold. There they are. Look at that. Lovely. So yeah, that was fun. It was, of course, also a convertible. Uh, and I felt like an astronaut because uh, if you remember, those Corvettes, uh, three of them were... Was it three or four? I can't remember. Were delivered to the Apollo... I can't remember which number team. There we go. So everything is at 100%. So what about the rest of the stuff? No test run, blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, 73,000 car value. Holy crap, are you serious? Oh my god. Yeah, everything is at 100%. At oh, wow. Okay, let's try to take this thing on... No, let's, let's take it for a test drive. How about that? Uh, let's go to the drag strip. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, of course I forgot that there was no oil in the engine. <laughs> right. Oil, please. Come on. There it is. Alright. Perfect. Alright. 14 bucks, that's it? It's not a lot at all. Okay, so let's take it to the drag strip. All right, everyone ready to do this? I've got the P to uh, shift up. Let's see what kind of a time we get with the stock engine, which has now been completely fully rebuilt. Let's go. All right, where's the red line? I don't know. Oh, quite high. Where is the red line? Let's see. 7,000, okay. Well, 6,800 something. Something like that. Yeah. So our 0 to 100 is 12 yeah, seconds. Well, 13 seconds. Not great. But there you go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. 13 seconds to 100. Or 0 to 60, as uh, you would say in the Imperial parts. Uh, let's return to the garage. Okay, so we know that this car has, what, 150-something horsepower? Yeah, 152. Oh, there we go. It actually records the quarter mile. 18 seconds, 0.7. Okay, so let's try the tuning. So, 73,371 is the price. Oh, yeah, well, of course, we have to place it on the dyno first. So let's see how much we get if we uh, tune it a little bit. I hate these little things. I never really got them. So... Oh, man. And we have to hear the engine all the time. There. That's 6%, but I'm pretty sure you can get more. So this moves these ones up and down. This doesn't... Oh, yeah, they have to be as high as possible, right? Plus 8%. Well, that's better than nothing. Um. There. There. Why is this not a thing? Look, it, they're almost all green and nice. Proper ratio. Hate this thing. Ah! So, okay, so like this. There we go! I think this is as much as we can get out of it, actually. Yeah! Alright, let's do a test run. Yeah, that looks much better now. Look at that. Well, a little bit better. So, does it sell for any more now? I wonder. Sells for absolutely nothing more. So, 
what happens if we buy a performance part? Let's see that. Filter. Let's buy a side... Bloody hell, they're expensive. Or actually, let's buy something that makes more of a difference. <laughs> Why does an alternator give you more HP? <laughs> that doesn't make any bloody sense at all. Wow, look at that carburetor signed raft. Okay, let's buy that one. Okay. Oops. So let's put it on there. And see what happens. If we actually get more money for it. I'm probably not going to do it to this car, but I'm going to test it and then probably do it to the next car if it does make any difference. There. So now... Oops. So now the car does have more value. Interesting. And uh, what is the dyno? What does the dyno say? Let's check that out. Test run. It should go over 180 now. Yeah, that, wow. That did quite a lot of um, difference, actually. Yeah, not bad at all. It's got one performance <laughs> thing in there. That's uh, not bad. Okay, anyway, we're going to sell this car next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Also, check out my Patreon. Because that's all some lovely stuff. Oh yeah, we'll also have to paint it next time. Bye-bye.